Welcome, thanks for joining us today for part one of a seven part series on the topic of sacred rest based on a book by Dr Sandra Dalton Smith. I'm with Erica who is the UK lead for Innovista International and I'm Jeremy, the priest in charge for All Saints Church Higher Town and the Transforming Mission Resource Minister for Truro. And today we're going to be taking a look at physical rest. So what is physical rest? Isn't it just about sleep? Yeah, well, we often think of sleep when we think of physical rest, but Dr. Dalton Smith takes us a bit further than that. And she gives us some really helpful warning signs for when we're lacking in physical rest. So she talks about if you're struggling to do all the physical tasks on your to-do list. So for me, this might be not having the energy to get up and do the hoovering. Uh, if you're having difficulty falling asleep, if you're getting frequent colds or you have muscle pain and soreness, or if you've become dependent on substances to give you an energy boost like caffeine or sugar, or you're dependent on substances to help you sleep like alcohol and comfort food. Mm. That's so important. Looking after our bodies and therefore rest is really important. And one of the things I love about the book is that it emphasizes the Bible teaches a whole host of things about, about this that we need to hear. Uh, the Psalmist in Psalm 139 says, for you formed my inward parts you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Paul writes to his church in Ephesus, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. And he writes also in uh, his letter to the Corinthian church, do you not know that our, your bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honour God with your bodies. So if looking after our bodies is really important and rest therefore is really important, how can we do that? Dr Dalton Smith identifies two types of physical rest. She talks about passive rest and active rest. And passive rest is sleeping. And we all know that it's a necessity, but we don't always set ourselves up for success. The book suggests that the key to a good night's sleep is a well-rested life. So if you're looking after yourself in the day, you will have a peaceful night's sleep. But if you physically run yourself into the ground, you're unlikely to find respite at night. The key is paying attention to what our body needs. And this really stood out to me, that we need to be taking time in our day to stop and notice how we feel. If we have any pain or tension or stress in our body and respond accordingly. I, I love that. It's so important. I know there's uh, more work for me to do on that front. But um, what I love is that although there's only one way of doing passive rest, sleeping, there are loads of ways in which we can do active rest, like gentle stretching, walking, breathing exercises, a bath, for instance. One of the things I really enjoy is walking uh, the dogs in the morning and in the afternoon. And for me, that's my active rest during the day. Um, so there is loads of things that we can do. And hopefully over the course of the next few weeks, we'll be focusing on other ways in which we can rest too. Yeah, so please do check out the PDF that we will be producing that has some ideas of how you put this into practice and look out for a video that Sam will be bringing to you about how to rest as a family. Do leave your comments. We would love to hear your tips on how you get a good night's sleep and how you rest throughout your day. Excellent. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next week.